We heavily use mobile data in order to, to be more efficient in delivering information to responders and for them to retrieve information uh, independently from, from the communication center. And so FirstNet allows us to have that priority and preemption so that that is available to us all the time. If you don't have a reliable network that's going to provide that information or that you can't count on that it's going to get to or you can't get it to other people, you've got to look for, try to figure out some other way to get it to the officers or get it to myself um, so that we have the right information, whether it's a suspect description or passing out information to the community quickly and instantly. So one of the things we're looking forward to uh, is basically turning our mobile command center into a first net point of access. Having that ability to, to utilize that communication center uh, when disasters happen is very critical for us. In 2011 when we had the earthquake, uh, we lost all uh, cell communications uh, throughout the city because everyone's saturated the network. Well, if that situation happens again, our public safety users will be able to have access to that network. We started with 3G, now we're at 4G, now we're at FirstNet. Um, so as we become more dependent on these systems, new things are popping up and are on the horizon for us. Within our truck, any city employee, any police officer, our fire officer, our EMS person who comes within our truck, who's a city employee with a city-issued device, their device will treat our truck as a mobile office and it'll log on to our system. So all those devices then run off our truck. The truck is designed to give us as much internet capability as we can. We have uh, voice over IP phone lines that come in. Um, we have CAD interfaces that directly tie into our 911 center. We have live camera feeds. Um, we have so many things. We have live weather feeds. This is the first opportunity that we've had to go to the front of the line and say we need this capacity because we're running this event and all the public safety is run off out of this truck. We initially implemented a hundred devices on the FirstNet network. FirstNet uh, came in and helped us with that deployment. And one of the main reasons we made the decision to transition to FirstNet was because of taking advantage of the reduced pricing that we would get taking advantage of cooperative contracts uh, throughout the state. So there's no upfront cost uh, for the city. That transition has been very smooth because the city didn't have to purchase any new, new devices. What I recommend for any city is to sit down with FirstNet and discuss what is the coverage for their particular jurisdiction and really assess is this a good decision for them. I can tell you for the city of Richmond based on many different factors it was the right decision for us to make is to begin migrating to FirstNet.